set time to be holy. Speak of with thy love. Abide in him always. And feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak. Forgetting in nothing. His blessing to see. Take time to be holy. The world rushes on. Spend much time in secret with Jesus alone. By looking to Jesus, like him thou shalt be. Thy friends in thy conduct, his likeness shall see. Take time to be holy. Let him be thy guide. And run not before him. Whatever be time, in joy or in sorrow, still follow thy Lord. And looking to Jesus, still trust in his word. Take time to be holy, be calm in thy soul. Each thought and each temper beneath his control. Thus, led by his spirit, the fountains of love, thou shalt. Soon be fitter for service aboard. We commit ourselves unto you that you will comfort us. God, comfort your children. Those who are passing through any tribulation, may the hand of comfort, the almighty hand, wipe away their tears in Jesus' name. God renew their strength. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. So that they will go again. It might be hard and difficult as they go, but they will endure. The power they will receive from here shall endure. God, I am asking, the glory of suffering, the blessing in suffering will come upon their life. Everyone that suffers anything, however small, the glory of it, the blessing of it shall come abundantly upon his life. I'm so grateful. Your children are comforted. In Jesus' name we pray. You can be seated. Suffering and reigning with Jesus. Suffering and reigning with Jesus. In the book of Second Corinthians, chapter one. Second Corinthians, chapter one. I read verse three. To verse 5. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort, who comforted us in all our tribulation that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort we are with we ourselves are comforted of god for as the sufferings of christ are bound in us so our consolation also are bounded by christ here we are seeing suffering and comfort. Suffering and comfort. Comfort is enjoyed by the one that suffers. The sleep of a laborious man is sweet. A tasty man enjoys water. So, the comfort.
sort of God is available for everyone that will suffer for his sake suffering suffering God stands by to pour cool water upon you to give water to you as you are thirsty you enjoy the sweetness of God when you taste of the suffering you partake of the suffering the God of all comfort that needs me endure for the night but joy comes in the morning joy will follow darkness in your life Paul said I reckon unto you that the sufferings of this life are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us suffering and the Bible says who comforted us in all our tribulation that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God for as the sufferings of Christ are bound in us so our consolation also are bounded by Christ you want the peace of God you want the presence of God you want the joy of God don't reject suffering. When he gives you the privilege to suffer, take it. He will pay you back with great comfort your mind back I've talked to you here suffering goes with comfort suffering goes with promotion in the life of Job has thou considered my servant Job and a righteous and upright man one that feared God and eschewed evil. Though thou movest me against him without a cause, yet he retained his integrity. And at the end, the Lord lifted up the captivity of Job. And the Lord gave him twice as much as he had. And the Lord gave him sons and daughters. And the beauty and the glory of the children of Job surpassed all the children in the east. Wow! Glory goes with suffering. Promotion of life. Upgrading of life, God's was suffering. God's was suffering. Therefore, I am saying this because some of you are called to special suffering. You suffer more than others. The mark of suffering is in your body. The mark can be seen in your life it may be seen in your eye it may be seen in your ear it may be seen in your forehead some of you it is in some hidden part of the body some in physical disability but the promotion of God the comfort of God the upgrading of God surely will come upon your life 
as the suffering of Christ abounds in us so our consolation our comfort abounds by Christ have I called you that you should serve me in vain did I say you should suffer for me in vain did I suffer in vain did not the Lord highly exalted me and gave me a name that is above every other name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven of things on earth of things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father the God of heaven the Lord Jesus is going to crown people that suffer along with him the people that yield themselves to suffer along with him men and women that yield their bodies to be tortured along with them we along with Jesus he shall surely lift them up he shall surely promote them in life you suffer with him that you might reign with him that is it that's why jesus would not refuse to drink the cup of suffering that his father has assigned unto him the cup which my father has given me will i not drink it that's the word Drink it to the full. There's what in it. What am I saying? I'm saying this because of you that are suffering in the family. You are suffering in the family. You are suffering in the marriage for the Lord's sake. Because of righteousness sake. You're suffering in marriage because of righteousness sake. You're suffering in the office because of righteousness sake. You're suffering from lack of promotion from your own secular work for righteousness sake. You suffer from sicknesses in your body for righteousness sake. You suffer from evil dreams and attacks of darkness for righteousness sake. You suffer from deprivation for righteousness sake. I am saying every drop of tear in your hair and from your eye shall be rewarded by the God of heaven. He shall re what's your life the lord shall put the crown upon your head the lord shall put the crown of god upon your head and he knew it the way that i take after that he has tried me he shall bring me up as god your christian life shall be a great one your future is going to be a great one by the reason of the present suffering by the reason of the present affliction that you are going through now the challenge of me the frustration of me it spares a brighter future say unto the righteous it shall be well with him God is a God of comfort he cannot leave you comfortless this is what didn't Jesus say so I will not leave you comfortless I will come to you again take that promise he cannot leave you in that condition with that, prom- with that comfort he is visiting you surely the comfort of God is coming surely that's it so as a result Paul said I take delight in suffering I take delight in necessity. I take delight in weakness. Because we are passed through this condition. The God of heaven comforts me. The God of heaven blesses my life. I have no problem therefore. I give my face to the smiter. For I know that I shall not be ashamed. Number one personal sacrifice and deprivation personal sacrifice then number two persecution and reproach of men number three promise rewards of suffering with Christ come back to point number one personal sacrifice and deprivation in face in philippians chapter 3 the servant to verse 14 philippians chapter 3 the servant to verse 14 but what things 
things were gain to me those I counted loss for Christ yeah doubtless and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord Philippians chapter 3 I read from verse 7 yeah doubtless was it and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Christ can you see this is willful suffering willingly not another person doing it to you you doing it to yourself personally afflicting suffering what is that suffering here he deprived himself of many goodies of life he deprived himself of things that look okay even okay in life he purposely refused them purposely refused them i count all things but dung anything that is for the pleasure of the body i personally say no to it not that it will even be seen anyway it's not a sin to eat food but I personally refuse to eat food for some time for righteousness sake that's real I suffer the loss of all things loss of friends loss, loss of family members loss of this for the purpose of this gospel I do it willingly I do it willingly why to win Christ it's like an athlete you see the suffering of the athlete very early in the morning 5 a.m. will 5 a.m. meet him on the bed no he must be jumping jumping somewhere although there's the risk to of meeting with thieves on the way but he's running there's the risk of dogs running after him as a thief but he's running going up and down tired and exhausted willingly afflicting his life why he wants to win something he wants to win something denying himself of sleep sleep denying himself of necessary food incurring pain Trekking long distances, being exhausted, tired, waking up in the midnight. It's not easy. Waking up in the midnight for vigil, personal suffering. Wow, for Christ for the excellency of Christ because I want to know Christ because I want to find Christ because I want to be found of Christ because I want to win the race that's what we're saying and the Lord rewards it the Lord rewards this discipline do you discipline yourself you are too relaxed to discipline yourself you can't fast no how will you deprive yourself of food when food is looking to your eyes you can't it's painful but there's blessing in it you can't do anything too hard no rain must not fall upon your body why wow. it is raining I can't go no it's too painful 
It's too far for me to take it. No. But others take it. Others go there. So, that's what we're saying. In Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 24 to 27. Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 24 to 27. By faith, when he was come to years, by faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. So far, there is the reward. Here was Moses with privilege. Privilege of being in the king's house. He purposely refused to be identified with the king, with the treasures, the treasury of the king, with the honor attached to the kingdom. As a prince, he rejected it. He chose rather to go and be identified with a suffering people. A suffering people. He chose to be identified with a suffering group. Why? Because of the reward of suffering. The reward. The pleasures of suffering. He esteemed it. It's much. What are we saying? Choose suffering. Choose pain. The Bible says it is better to go to the house of mourning than the house of feasting. For there the righteous take it to heart. It is better. Why are you refusing suffering? Why is it a little pain? You is you're crying too much. Why are you frowning at little disappointment of life? Little affliction that comes upon you. You complain. Little anger in hunger in your stomach. Because of this. Because of the activities of God. You complain. Lack of money. You complain. Complain over everything. You will never know the dentist of life. You will never know the promotion of life. You will never know the progress of life. Because it is heat in suffering. Are you refusing suffering? Me and you will go suffer. It's lazy man. You are rejecting suffering? That Jesus willingly took it upon himself. That which the apostles willingly take it upon themselves. They feel it is part of joy. I mean suffering for righteousness. It is said the philosophers will rather choose suffering than prosperity because suffering preserves you prosperity can destroy you suffering suffering has great reward suffering brings you always to consider God the white man doesn't suffer light is 24 hours there Everything is made so convenient. So convenient to the point that they don't bother about God anymore. <laughs> I heard of a particular preacher that told his ministers, he said, you are too comfortable to be useful. <laughs> are you getting what I'm saying? Life is fine. Everything is just well. Everything is, you're only based 
base of this you are in the base of that you are in the base of this those corn that they fertilize them and they grow fat and big let rain cease for three days you will see and pity them they are not used to suffering are you getting what i'm saying you will see them drying and we crying for water because they're not used to pain they're not used to trouble they they they, they have been fertilized they will die they will die they can't withstand in life my brother learn suffering allow yourself to suffer allow yourself to suffer pain if God brings it along your way do it yourself take the part that is hard and exercise your muscle learn it a particular brother was stung by scorpion the scorpion was pinning his body instead of going to cure himself he said let me suffer it a while it, and be imagining how it will be in hellfire is learning lesson from suffering what am i saying god is having weaklings in our generation people that are not ready to suffer jesus suffered he made the captain of our salvation perfect through suffering but we're having a generation of people that are not ready to suffer choose rather to suffer affliction in righteousness pain disappointment rejection starvation whatever choose it it is going to give you spiritual strength it's going to toughen your life it's suffering makes you to reign with Christ suffering for service Look at it in First Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter nine. I read from verse nineteen downward. For though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself servant unto all that I might gain the more. And unto the Jews I became as a Jew that I might gain the Jews. To them that are under the law as under the law that I might gain them that are under the law. To them that are without law as without law being not under being not being not without law to god but under the law to christ that i might gain them that are without law to the weak became i as weak that i might gain the weak i am made all things to all men that i might by all means serve some this ministerial character is the one that is given to suffering he is malleable he can change he can conform he forces himself to conform why to gain if you will prosper in ministry if you want to prosper in ministry and you don't want to come down from the level you are in you can't get it you can't be useful because you are too big to be useful you are too great to be fruitful you are on top there to beg I am ashamed to dig I cannot because my hands are fat that's the man used to pleasure used to pleasure here is Paul he, he changes he takes the, the form required to, to succeed and that is suffering if he requires sitting in the dust he goes to sit in the dust with the people to be able to attract their own attention check in with the ministers the apostles of all the prophets of all they are those the Lord said walk barefoot for three years don't wear any shoes be walking barefoot three years why are we not giving to suffering? why are we running away from suffering we are going to come back to suffering the amen is small if god can have a body of people that are dedicated to him that say oh lord we yield our body 
this unto you do unto us as you please in the Christian life and ministry I'm telling you God will do great works great works shall be accomplished I want us to present our bodies unto him a living sacrifice present yourself a living sacrifice ready to be tortured ready to be bullied ready for any form I was told of a cap a king that was going for battle somewhere and that they needed to cross the, I mean is it the chariot or the vehicle or whatever needed to cross a particular place and to go in, to go in the war and some people volunteered to give their lives they will lie down there and let the, let those two match them and they die then you can go ahead and fight that's for those who are not doing it for god for man for god other but what about for god can you give your life look at it in the book of romans hey people that can suffer people that can suffer what can the devil do to them anymore they are willing to suffer in romans chapter 8 the bible says in verse 35 who shall separate us from the love of Christ shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword as it is written for thy sake we are killed all the day long we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter we are ready may God make us ready that we will not be afraid to die we will not be afraid to suffer then you will achieve holiness the reason of your murmuring complaining bitterness is because you are not ready to suffer little criticism against you hey. the way you react why you are not ready to suffer to suffer shame to suffer what be ready to suffer take your cross and follow jesus cross because of suffering from the house suffering from man suffering from satan suffering from what suffering from anywhere take your cross take your cross take your cross be ready for suffering take your cross be ready for suffering to follow some of you think that god cannot allow suffering the bible says ye shall have to tribulation ten days the devil shall cast some of you to prison and ye shall have tribulation ten days be thou faithful unto death and i shall give you the crown of life Be faithful in that suffering. I leave you there. John the Baptist was in the prison. He thought Jesus would do something. But the Lord allowed him to suffer. Yeah. John, your work has finished. You came to, pronounce, to, to announce the Messiah. The Messiah has come. Now, they, they have put you in prison. You want to be released so that you can come and join the politics of the land. You will miss your reward. God allowed you there. My brother, embrace that suffering that the God of heaven has given you. The cup which my father has given to me. Will I not drink it? There was giving me a tongue in the flesh. For this I besought the Lord Christ that he might take it away from me. But the Lord says, be content for my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. Will you then pray Paul, the suffering should be taken away from you. Pray. If it is not taken away, the Lord will moderate it for your life. The God of all grace, after that you have suffered a while, will strengthen you, will comfort you, will settle your life. Therefore, don't fear suffering. 
a particular man was caught and taken to the camp of the enemy they they were torturing him to make some confessions to reveal some secrets as they were touched we will kill you he said i'm dead already <laughs> so who's killing again i am in the camp of the enemy you already tortured me now you say you will kill me i have already died he that has died fear no more death if your body is given to torture there is no amount of torture that can remove Christ from your life yes number two persecution and reproach of men this one is not the one that you will you willingly afflicted yourself no maybe you afflicted yourself in fasting you deprived yourself of something not that one not that one but the one that comes upon you from others the one that is afflicted by another person upon your life jobs on came from someone else not personal choice it came from someone that afflicted him joseph's own came from someone else not personal choice it came from someone that afflicted him the scripture has indicated plainly that those who live godly lives must suffer persecution the lord counts blessed those who suffer persecution for righteousness sake for righteousness sake matthew chapter 5 matthew chapter 5 i read the stain to verse 12 blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Blessed are you that are persecuted persecuted for your faith in Christ persecution makes us to partake of Christ's suffering but ensure that your suffering is not because of your sins for your faults carelessness and disobedience first Peter chapter 4 verse 12 to 16 First Peter chapter 4, verse 12 to 16. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice, inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings that when his glory shall be revealed ye may be glad also with exceeding joy if ye be reproached for the name of Christ happy are ye for the spirit of glory and of God rested upon you on their part he is evil spoken of but on your part he is glorified but let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evil doer or as a busy body in other means matter yet if any man suffer as a christian let him not be ashamed but let him glorify god on this behalf the lord is comforting you who are suffering because of righteousness he is saying that kind of suffering is the type of suffering jesus went through and it's a wonderful thing you are partaking of christ's suffering 
that type of suffering is the type the apostles rejoiced anytime they had it what when they were beaten with stripes they rejoiced that they were counted worthy they rejoiced <coughs> that they were counted worthy to suffer reproach for christ that type of suffering that is coming from people against you because of righteousness is the type Paul was wishing that I may know him and the, and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering that I might be made conformable unto his death so that by any means I might partake of his resurrection that type of suffering Hmm. my brethren when we gather in heaven and your, your brethren come forth to present to the Lord Jesus marks of suffering for him what are you going to show when Jesus resurrected and came to his disciples he showed the mark of suffering and that became what the, 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 the point of glory suffering that is what makes him precious they shall ask him what is this in your hands that we have seen they are the wounds that I incurred from in the house of my friends I, I suffered for them until I was wounded and because of my suffering they so much cherish me now I have become their friend they embrace me now they bow before me now they kiss me now they are saying darling Jesus oh my darling Jesus oh what a wonderful man you are I love my darling Jesus it's because of the wounds I incurred because of the wounds I incurred to go and deliver them I suffered for them on the cross of Calvary to deliver them and now I'm precious in their side they when we enter heaven people shall be lining up and shall be showing Jesus Max Paul said I have the mark of Christ in my body but I people shall be showing mark of suffering how they pass through the wicked wall what the wicked wall has done people shall be giving testimonies of what they went through those that have beheaded those that their hands were cut off those that their legs were cut off those that their eyes were broken off what will you show that you're running away from suffering you're running away are you fit for heaven heaven your body is too smooth for heaven nothing to suffer no testimony in your life do you have testimony that you were slapped you avoided all slaps all to compromise do you have any testimony that you were retrenched you were dismissed from office do you have anyone do you have any testimony that members of your church all left and that you began afresh because of the doctrine of righteousness do you have anyone what will you go and tell in heaven when people shall be telling their stories what shall you tell what are you tell what will you say to jesus you did for him and suffered for him go and start afresh that they should open a new file for you at least there's still chance there's still chance you're still alive go and try go and make up your mind let the people abuse let the people say anything let the people take any action let any hardship come let it be ring upon yourself let it be social you will stand for righteousness what we're talking about yes yes when we suffer because of Jesus and
and the Christian life and service, we are to rejoice and be exceeding God. Hmm. It had been predicted of Apostle Paul that he would suffer so much because of Jesus. Go thy way, for I have chosen him to be a vessel unto me and to carry my word unto kings and unto the nobles, unto various men upon the earth, and I will show him how much thing he will suffer for me. Hey, the Lord is leading you by the way of wilderness, the way of suffering. God led the children of Israel by the way of suffering because it is the way of discovery. It is in those things that they understood their God better. If Israel never passed the wilderness of suffering, we would have never had the full knowledge of God in Scripture. If you avoid suffering, you will never have the full message of the gospel. Because it was when they didn't have water that we knew our God could brew, can bring water out of the rock. It's there. When they didn't have food, it's there we knew God could rain down food from heaven. It was when they were so tired and needed meat that we knew God could manufacture bears quickly and send to them to be eaten. Suffering that brought out the colors of God, various departments of God. May the Lord go strengthen you to suffer for Him. Amen. So that's what the word of God is letting us to know. We Suffering comes to pass in your life. Count it a privilege and rejoice for it. Hmm. Paul the apostle. People were boasting. People with smooth bodies were boasting that they were Christians. People that didn't have any dented life because of suffering. We're boasting that they played it nicely, they played wisely. And they they say they were generals. Paul said, Let me boast too. Let me boast. These people are boasting. You have forced me into boasting. Let me boast. To tell you that I am a minister of Christ, that I am a servant of God. That this thing you are ill-treating me or underlooking at me, at you, this, this thing, I want to tell you that no, I, 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 I am something too. But Paul's thoughts was a, was a contrary one to their own. What Paul was boasting about is not, it's a surprising thing, but that is actually where the spiritual boasting of life is. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11, 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 22 from verse 22 to 33 Are they Hebrews? So I am. So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I am more in labors, more abundant. In stripes, above major. In prison, more frequent. In deaths, off. Of the Jews. No, he was given certificate of ministry. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying? Paul. Oh. General Paul was given the certificate of apostleship. That which qualifies him in his own understanding, assessment to be a Christian to be a Christian minister. 
he began to list them out he began to list them verse 24 of the jews five times received i 40 stripes save one five times they brought paul to the public gathered around him and flogged him with 39 stripes because of jesus when they finished he went back and said hey everybody believe in the lord jesus repent from your sin turn away from your sin and come to jesus repent repent they will catch him again bring him to the public flock him 39 stripes he will continue hey the lord is coming all sinners shall perish god wants to show you mercy turn from your sin turn from your witchcraft come to jesus come to jesus they will catch him take him gather around him flock him 39 stripes how many times have they flocked to you? And the man was not discouraged. Little thing touched you, you have abandoned the ministry. Yes. <laughs> you know, we, when we, were grow, when we were children, we trekked far distances to go to primary school. You get what I'm saying now? We trekked far distances, but this, the boys and the children of this time, they carry them in cars. Zoom. They don't have time to read and pass exam anymore. It's giraffe. We that suffered, we knew the value of education more. We knew it more. You that reject suffering, you are born in a generation that are at ease where they preach self-esteem greatness you do not know the successes of christianity the victories of christianity see him listing them now he said thrice was i beaten with rods once i was stoned thrice i suffered shipwreck a night and a day i have been in the deep in journeyings often in perils of waters in perils of robbers in perils by my own countrymen in perils by the hidden in perils in the city in perils in the wilderness in perils in the sea in perils among false brethren in weariness and painfulness in watchings often in hunger and thirst in fastings often in cold and nakedness beside those things that are without that which cometh upon me daily the care of all the churches who is weak and i am not weak who is offended and i burn not if